Welcome to Riverbend Talon on WBGZ. Brought to you by the Help and Music Company. That's right. Uh, it's brought to you by Mr. Matt Van Voorhis as well. I'm Dennis and Pigpen flying in at the last segment. At least he made it this week. <laughs> Remember, there was a show. I'm here. I made it. That's good. Look, look. the week I wasn't here, don't blame me. Blame Memphis, man. I was on my way home from New Orleans and I got sideswiped. I, I forgot. I, there was a terrible flood. There was an accident, a hurricane. I had a flat tire. My in-laws came in from out of town. It wasn't my fault. I'm just glad we have a guest because I didn't think we were going to have a guest that night because you had the recording with you. Uh, yeah, so we did Sarah McGivney guest. is here, and uh, that is part of Pickin' Daisies. Could be a lot of things, but this time it's Pickin' Daisies. <laughs> Good evening. There are many reasons she could be here. <laughs> and on the phone lines. You want to put those on your people? We, we have more picking days. <laughs> Kara is on the phone, right? Hello, Kara. Yeah, hi. How are you guys doing? Doing good. Very well. Uh, you're 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 uh, from a remote location because you don't want anyone to know where you're at, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm super secret spy. Yeah, calling in from somewhere exotic for sure. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that is the voice of Kara McGuire, the uh, Nashville songwriter. A lot of people claim that these days. They just go down there for a minute. But you were down there like six years. I was. I was. I was down from like, oh, golly, I'm going to age myself. But I was there from like 98 to 2003. Yeah, that's that's a good stint to do in Nashville. Nash Vegas, I think they call it now. (laughs) (laughs) And uh, you were doing gospel music, right? For a record label, I believe, at one point. I was. You have a good memory. Yeah, I did. I worked. Um, I worked in the in the gospel music industry uh, pretty much the whole time I was down there um, for an association. Um, did like the big awards show that they did. They were called the Dove Awards when I did them. Uh, when I worked with the company there, but um, and then I did a little stint with a um, couple years with the record label too. So yeah, it was a great time. I, I really enjoyed it. But you know. Home is where the heart is, and um, I, I decided that being closer to my family was important, and been been back in the metro ever since. Yeah, it wasn't that good a memory actually. That was just a few hours ago when I listened to the interview from the last time you guys were on, <laughs> which is like back in February of 2020. <laughs> it's like, yeah, but I remember oh my that. Gosh. February 2020, before the world changed, it, right? Yeah. <laughs> right. In the Just before, before. Times. In the before times. <laughs> and you guys were uh, you guys were getting ready to play Bakers and Hale, I believe, uh, for that show that we did. We just so happened to be playing Bakers and Hale again on Saturday. <laughs> See how Thanks that works for having out? us. Yeah. <laughs> Anytime someone's playing Bakers and Hale, we like to talk about it because they've got such good food. And everyone needs to go out there and try the the. the B and H burger with the bacon jam. I'm just saying that stuff's delicious. Man, this seems like deja vu. I did. I say the exact same yeah, thing. You did. Man. I, you yes, said the exact same. Thing. I was trying to, <laughs> I, and I didn't watch. See, he 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 uses the mem- the internet for his memory. I just keep saying the same thing over and over. That's all. Ah, so and, there you go. And guess who was missing last time from Jen. the pig? Yeah, yeah. She's gonna be here. Watch. Okay. Jen's uh, about to walk in the door okay, any second. Okay. If if I was if I was Gary Berghoff right now and we were on Mash, I'd be saying choppers. I'm just saying we've got incoming. Right. <laughs> like any, anyone under the age of forty or fifty is like, what's he talking about? Uh, Jen's probably listening to us I'm on the sorry. radio right now. <laughs> don't I, speed, Jen. I hope she watched Mash. No, I don't. <laughs> I don't know what's going on anymore. Uh, so hey, why don't why don't we uh, very quickly talk about the Thursday though? Because Thursday, oh, okay. yeah, there's things happening right now that, that we have a, a very short list that we could let people know what's happening. Right. So we got the uh, Sea Shanty Sing Along, of course, going on at Morrison. Started five minutes ago. Still plenty of time to get down there, drink Irish whiskey, and sing along with the crowd. It could have started at noon down there. You just never know. At I least guess, part it, of it. It was officially scheduled to start at 6 p.m. I seen on their Facebook page where they were posting some lyrics. So now you can get on there and like learn a little ah, bit of a shanty before idea. you go down. That would make yeah. me feel more like belting it, right? Yeah, yeah. Instead yeah, of going, yeah. hey, whiskey, <laughs> whiskey. Because you know that's in there somewhere, right? right. Uh, I don't know any of the Irish ones. I know several of the Scottish ones, and they're all pretty dirty. 
She lived on a mountain in uh, something like a fountain. <laughs> I, I skipped a word. I don't know which one. Anyway, uh, we also got Cross the Line going out on down at Fast Eddie's Bonaire. Air. We got an open, oh, right. open mic night, Rage on Cage on this evening. And open mic at Baker's and Hale just got underway. There you go. That's with Everheart and Light going on out there. Uh, then my buddy uh, Graham Pagano playing up George's local brew, 6.30 p.m. this evening. And your other buddy? Eric Lysot. Right. I have not seen that guy for a long time. Uh, six with, to uh, nine at Big Daddy's. He's with Super Jam. Is he with Super Jam? Yeah, I, yeah. Uh, I I can't remember all the things he's been with. He's got some solo albums out, and he's played with several bands so right. over the years. But we got Skylark Brothers, 6 p.m. at Oliver's in Edwardsville. Huh? I seen Jack yeah. Twesden Saturday night. Yeah? Yeah, I went down to uh, Granite City, and I had a blast at Alfresco's uh, Art Center down there because Bonnie Bramlett performed <sighs> three nights down there. I and I got to see her two out of three. Oh, man. And they were slightly different each day, too. Right. So it was, yeah, it was mind-blowing. So, so, so look, I mean, I mean, I know the music was going to be mind-blowing with Bonnie Bramlett singing, but, like, tell me what she was wearing. Was she hot? She, she sang hot. Mary Did You Know. <laughs> Think about that song and her voice. It's perfect. It's the perfect song. And Becca Bramlett performed. Yeah. And really? you talk about energy. Really? And uh, spit and image, too. Just, what was really cool is to watch Bonnie cheer on her daughter. I was going to say that it looked like Bonnie just a few years back. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, damn, wow, nice. I've mm. never met Becca. Right. She was a uh, lead singer for Fleetwood Mac for a while. Wow. Right. I, I forgot that. about that. Yeah. Bonnie told us that, mm -hmm. and I forgot. Wow. <clears throat> but so, Bonnie, man, a cl classic, or just a, a legend right there. That, that lady is a serious yeah. rock and roll powerhouse. So the Alfresco Art Center is like 100 years old. Yeah, no old and church, it's, isn't it's it? Like, yeah, it's like a miniature box or something, though. It's got that big open ceiling like like you'd have at the box or something right. like that, and a balcony all around. <laughs> really cool, really cool. <laughs> nice. So nice. anyways, where were we at? You know, ah, I don't remember. Yeah, Skylark church. Brothers, we were talking about Jack Twiston, yeah, so that yeah, must yeah. have been the him. Skylark did Brothers. Him, there. Yeah. Uh, so what, what a, a Rick Schroeder, wasn't he on, like, Silver Spoons? <laughs> Isn't that the guy that sings the national anthem? I, I I'm don't pretty know. sure, man. It might be. Uh, and uh, anyways, he's playing with Brian Lee Tennant at seven o'clock at Deutz uh, tonight, and then Mo Pleasure already underway at Patrick's and Granite and uh, Shotgun Creek down at uh, Silver Creek Saloon. And just in time, we wrap up Thursday. By the way, Silver Creek Saloon in Belleville. And Jennifer walks in the room. So now we have the full trio. I might have to find days. her an adapter if there's no adapter. That way she can hear Kara. Go ahead and continue as if I was here. I'll put my cardboard cutout up. I got. I just covered for you like you were here. So. Hey, I we get, can I get, get a word in, guys. <laughs> What's up? Right, yeah. Sarah, Sarah's going to help me out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. I didn't even hear what he said, actually. But joining us, Jennifer, right? They're trying to get her headphones set up. I guess we got headphones, right? Okay. Look at this, man. We got major action going on behind the scenes. Lolo coming in to bail us out. I love doing play-by-play -play of radio. I know, right? It's great. Right? Yeah. Look at this, man. This is amazing. So now Jennifer can hear Kara, who's on the phone line. Say hi to Jennifer, Kara. Hey, Jen. How are you? I am good. Long drive? <laughs> yeah, long drive. Uh, so now everyone's on a mic and talking. Now what do we and, do? And a we show? Should we do a show? <laughs> I, I, I thought we would just stare at each other for a while and giggle. That's what I usually I thought do pick when and I sit in a circle. <laughs> we can have Pig and Daisy to a show Saturday at Baker's and Hale. What do you think? Yeah, I, I think we could talk about that if you want. Yeah, that'd be great. It'd be a good <laughs> I, idea. I'm happy that Jen's here because she, she avoids me. She's, been, she's not been coming into any of the interviews for years oh. because... She she knows that I'm going to. Uh, she, I tried to get her to let you sit next to me, but they they're like, no. Last the one time you got handsy and she wouldn't come back. So, oh, yeah. so uh, Jen's been practicing what not to say. Yes. What not to say. <laughs> <laughs> we went through it for three hours the other night. Oh wow! <laughs> I believe it. <laughs> and then she's like, oh you can't say that on the radio. Yeah. All right, Chuck. I, I need someone with me all the time to like, you know, 
you know, coach me at like parties or something like that. You know, like, hey, whatever you do, don't say the N word. Oh, I know, I know. I will. Still, still a buzzer. <laughs> you mean right. no normal? Yeah. Exactly. I'm, I'm like, oh, did I just said it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> we never got back to that, did we? Uh, no, we, we never did. <laughs> all right. <clears throat> Welcome to the show, Jen. Thank I'm, you. I'm sorry you're out of arm's reach, but that's all right. We'll, we'll um, deal. Happy to be there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the so. fiddle player, right? Jennifer I and know. graphic designer. Graphic designer, <laughs> yes. Uh, Man, which you pointed out last time is the best thing to have in the band. Even if they can't play, you need one of those in your band. <laughs> You'll if, have a good if, logo. If I knew a good graphic designer and they were like, "I want to play spoons in your band," I'd be like, "Great." <laughs> Here's some plastic ones. <laughs> You're in charge of all the marketing. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. <laughs> now try to make us look good. <laughs> Uh, so you uh, you do all of the uh, graphic designing for the band. Uh, we were just talking about how uh, when when Sarah first came in about how you had the three logos mm -hmm. for people to vote on. Oh yeah. And, and uh, aim your mic. Look look a little towards your mic when you talk. I'm having trouble. I'm there you go. That's there you right. go. There you go. I just want to be able to hear you because okay. I'm seeing your mouth moving. I'm like, oh, did I have a stroke? <laughs> I don't hear anything. That's I'm a not funny sure. story about that. <laughs> so so <laughs> you uh, you would put up up. Uh, three designs for people to vote on for the mm -hmm. pick and daisies logo but yep. like how many did you actually make before you whittled it down oh, to three gosh there are so many and right just, yeah and i just tweak, she does and, that tweak for fun. and tweak yeah it's for fun it's fun um well there was a whole nother set before those logos um because we i don't know how we decided on peace lilies because it you know but then people started reminding us that that's the the flower that you bring to funerals so um we're like we right. need a new well name. you're pushing up daisies i mean <laughs> come on so yeah we didn't want people to think we were a funeral band no well you know mm -hmm. it's a beautiful I don't, flower it's it's been a long time since you know they've started embalming bodies and we no longer really needed flowers to cover up the smell of the dead body but why so why do we still continue this the floor the floors have tricked us i'm just saying i'm i did not allow myself to go there <laughs> I, I'm, I'm just trying to figure it all out in my head sometimes i talk out loud i know, I know that was a keeper i'm, I'm still on the question Whew, let's go Which back to that unusual <laughs> so, so the question was uh, how do we get to those? Oh yeah, so we did. I did like a whole round of Peace Lily logos, and they were cool. I mean, they were. I probably put too much time into them, but and then we axed that name and we went to Pickin' Daisies, which was Bean's idea. <laughs> and I mean, we just throw stuff out there, and most band names don't sound good, like when you just first say it, like Meatloaf. True. Right. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, Meatloaf is kind of cool. That's a good point. Meat Loaf is, is probably the best example. That, that, that was a really good one because you stopped you. me in my track. I was, I was get, trying to think of a funny one, and you hit me with the reality of it all. <laughs> so, but picking daisies sounded, I thought it sounded cool from the very first second. Yeah. And then well, I picking. visualized mm -hmm. a guitar pick logo and had, had people vote on it and decided on a vertical and horizontal version. There you go. Mm -hmm. And you say bean. Uh, <laughs> you, so Sarah, you come up with the, with the name of Pickin' Daisies? I did. I was complimenting the name. I think that's a, an excellent name. And those Pickin' Buds guys, they, I, I, that's a cool name too, but I know you were first. So, mm -hmm. like, you know, Pickin' Buds. Our brother band. Oh. Buds. Oh. Yeah, I mean, I, I picked a lot of buds, so I understood exactly what yeah. they were talking about. <laughs> but Trimmed what, a lot of buds? Trimmed a lot of buds. Hung them to dry the whole nine yards. That's the worst part. Just you got to wait for them to week. turn amber. No. <laughs> anyway, anyway, uh, I understood where that name came from, but but, but I had heard picking daisies first. I'm like, those are there's some Johnny Come Lately's right there. No, I, I, uh, so so you guys are playing out at uh, Baker's and Hale now. Now, how is it that you you practice? Because Kara is over the phone. Does she practice over the phone with you? Oh, she loves to drive. <laughs> Apparently, she somehow yeah, agreed I mean, she to join is. a band that was based in Alton, and we she's moved all her. over St. Louis area, all the way out mm -hmm. in West County. <laughs> she drives her after sweet working little heart all, day, all the way over here. I'm taking care of kids, and she drives to 
play music with us. Wow. And it's always worth it's it. Because I love you guys. <laughs> I love you guys. It's the best. And we've been doing it. I was just thinking about it the other day, man. I've been making that, that drive um, for practice before picking daisies for a long time mm -hmm. so yeah. when you're a musician you just can't not play music that's all there is to it yeah you can't not do it and when you find your peeps you find your peeps <laughs> you're worth the time so i think the last time we talked Kara, which was way back in uh, february of 2020 you had just started messing around with the ukulele you still playing that I am. I am. Actually, it's kind of become my my primary um, my primary instrument that I, I'm playing now. I I'm starting to get brave enough to play it on just a couple of songs at gigs. Um, probably, I'm just as brave about playing the ukulele as I'm getting the girls to sing background for oh, me. Okay, yeah. Um, so, <laughs> so, but yeah, I love it. I'm having a really good time with it. Yeah, that's good. Uh, so I've been practicing the ukulele. That's good. You got all those uh, music degrees. You know, it's about time you play a, a ukulele, right? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Such a nice touch, though. Mm -hmm. I love the uke. You, did you notice she brought up uh, background singing, Sarah? Uh, yeah. Yeah, we talked about that. <laughs> <laughs> we talked about that last time. I'm but, up to what? Like five songs now, Kara, that I do. Oh, background. that's good. Yeah. <laughs> I'm proud. I'm yeah. very, very proud. <laughs> yeah, because we talked about how difficult it was to uh, play chords and sing at the same time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, words <laughs> yeah. and vocals and your right. hands going at the same time. It's just too much. It's too much. <laughs> the cool thing about backup <laughs> vocals, though, is you can wait for the person to start saying the word you're trying to remember and then jump in. Mm -hmm. Totally. Right. Totally. So, <laughs> <crunch>. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I do the national anthem. No, <laughs> just kidding. It is so easy to sing along with the radio or a CD or whatever. And then when you take it away, it's like, I, I forgot the words. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Even knowing the words, I've still choked. Ask Kara. Oh, that was funny. That last time at Elijah P. When it was Elijah P's, I went up to the mic like one of my very first times trying it. I guess my brain just forgot the note because yeah. I literally went. <laughs> like a uh, violence. It looked good on video. It didn't sound that great, but <laughs> she pulled a Sid Barrett. Oh, yes. uh, just yeah. keep walking up There's to the no mic and almost. On radio. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Oh. But uh, yeah, that's a that's a tough thing remembering lyrics, man. There's there's been some nights where that uh, hit me, and and there's always one lyric that you're trying to remember in a song. And yeah. so you're thinking about that lyric the whole time, and, and then, then you it, sing it like a burst too early. Mm -hmm. Right, right, right. <laughs> like you're thinking about uh, that the whole time. Oh, and then man. you're like, uh-oh, I already sang that. Now I got to, do I try to put the second verse in the third verse? It's it, usually impossible at that point. <laughs> I see. So, so I'm going to give you all a hint. This is a serious, like, you know, industry secret for rock and roll anytime you can't remember the words you just sing hubcap diamond star halo mm -hmm. it fits in any song anytime anywhere and, <laughs> and it makes as much sense in one song as another <laughs> <laughs> so that's an industry secret don't let anybody know when you found that out that's a good hack my go-to is watermelon <laughs> I don't know everybody why. knows that one I like the you could never cap. offend somebody with that unless you may be gallagher fans <laughs> i don't know <laughs> Don't sit in the splash zone. Not at Gallagher shows, not at Shamu shows, not at the strip clubs, not anywhere. <laughs> Just bad news. All right, so what's what's happening here? I had to leave the room. Yeah, and, why do you keep leaving? I well, mean, what's I, going I, on? I, you got gas or something? I, 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 I do. I, I, I have horrible gas, and, and I didn't want to offend the ladies, and I, I instead I walked down into the tight room with Alex, and poor Alex is down there. Yeah. She talked about choking. He's choking. Like, no. I, I, I sensed our guests were thirsty and, yes. and needed some water. And, okay. and Thank you so much. I didn't want to leave them, you know, parched the whole time mm -hmm. i don't know i was uh i was talking to Kara about how much she's improved on the ukulele since the last oh. time we talked really? because That's... i'm pretty sure Kara was just doing basically vocals and it was just starting to pick up the ukulele if i remember correctly mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Seems, yeah, yeah that is correct yeah now the ukulele is the best island instrument <laughs> I know, I'm just trying to throw facts in and stay part of the conversation. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, I got a question. Let's All see right. if anyone knows the answer, including the uh, 
Kara who has degrees. So we'll see. <laughs> All so right. this is this is a tough question. Okay. Right. Do you know what a tipple is? I saw one the other day. Okay, now wait. John Hand showed me one. I already told you. I already told you. Have you guys heard of a tipple? I thought that was like a painting technique. You want me to show you mine? That's stipple. Stipple? Stipple. Oh, stipple. Oh, stipple. You're yeah. right. It is. Stipple. <laughs> <laughs> that was close. Okay, to catch you guys up with a story. So I, I got a friend that I, that I do work for from time to time, and uh, he's a picker. And he come across this instrument. It's called a tipple. And so I took it down to Halpin Music, and they looked at it and went, I've never seen one of these. <laughs> so what a tipple is is a 10-string ukulele. Hmm. And they weren't very popular. They came out in, like, the early 1900s thinking, wow, this is going to be a cool thing. But no one wanted to play them after they came out. <laughs> like five know, sets of two? Five like sets of two, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so 10 yeah. strings on a ukulele was yeah. just a little too much. <laughs> And yeah, the neck is a tiny little neck for 10, 10 strings on that thing. Right. But yeah. Yeah. T- t- five sets of two. It, it, mm. it, it looks interesting. I can't wait to see it strung up once they get it done. I'm, I'm right. Yeah. To so see that, what it's going to sound like. I wonder, it, are the extra strings, are they high or the low? On the low it's end? a combination of both. Ooh. So it looks like groups of twos, if I remember right, when you look at the, right, the that, bridge. So, right? so a, man, a mandolin has four strings. So, so the extra, that, that's 10. Or that's eight of your ten. Mm-hmm. So the other two, we don't know if they're low, if they're on the top or the bottom of the fretboard, I believe is the question. We don't know. Like with a seven-string well. guitar, you got the extra string that mm-hmm. is going on the top or the bottom. Which way do you want it? I don't know. But so, luckily, we're going to find out, though. Okay. We will luckily, answer these questions. Low. We, we went with Halpin Music, and Kelsey, who took care of us down there, she does all the instruments down there, repairs them and stuff. And so I went down there. I was like, "Check this thing out!" And, and uh, I had seen her at uh, that time. We were down doing the uh, the live remote, the live yeah. remote, right? And uh, she said the coolest thing about her job was when something came in she never had worked on before. And so I looked at her. I'm like, "I bet you never worked on one of these before." <laughs> it's like we couldn't even say we were calling it Tip Lee. We didn't even know how to say it. All right. So she took it home, did the research, right? Finds out, you know, it's pronounced Tipple. Which is Spanish, so now I claim I can speak Spanish. <laughs> right? And uh, so they came out, like I said, this one's probably uh, 1920s, 30s, somewhere in there. And uh, weren't very popular, but they still sell restored. And then the guy that had the tipple, I went back to him, and this is the updated part of the story. Oh. He was like on the fence about putting the money into it because he's a picker. He wants to get his money back out of right. the items, right? And he really doesn't know much about music instruments. So I went back and I told him the story about how much Kelsey enjoyed looking into this instrument, didn't charge him for just doing the research, and even had started, and I'd found this out since last time we talked, had started building the nut for it, right? Just cause. And, it was missing and so the when nut. I called her back and I said, I don't think he really wants to put the money into it. She's like, well, let him know that if he ever decides to, I still got it cut out and ready to go. So I went back nice. and told the guy that. I said, hey, you know, she's already got this thing cut out. And he's like, you know what? Let's do it. I will put it. Yeah. I'll put some Good. money into it. So now yeah. we're getting it restored. Awesome. Now I'm going to tell you my Spanish. Iba, Iba, andale, andale. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the only Spanish I know. It means hurry, hurry, quickly, quickly. We should do some gigs. No, I don't know if what it means. <laughs> that's Russian. I don't know what's going on here, man. I'm freaked out. Yeah, I wasn't even thinking last week we had a fireside for the guest. So, like, John Han was listening to us talk about the tipple. I saw John Han mm-hmm. last yeah, night. Yeah, that's what you were I'm saying. spying on him. Yeah. Anyway, so uh, let's uh, let's go over our Fridays, uh, and then these girls can tell us uh, all about this Bakers and Hale thing and what we can expect to see. I, I heard it's going to be, you know, very very uh, intense. The show they've got in, I'm sure in it store is. for us, yeah. It's it's something you're going to want to eat a B and H hamburger too with bacon jam. Mm, bacon jam. <laughs> <laughs> mm. uh, so let's start at the conservatory on Friday night, where the question will be asked: Where's the rum? <laughs> and I would say behind the bar until you order it. I would Just say they're guess. probably opening up for Daisy Chain or Lofty's Common. 
Ah, there you go. So we got Daisy Chain, Lofty's Comet, and Where's the Rum? Uh, no cover. Yeah. 8 p.m. at the Conservatory in Alton. Get down and support all those guys. Nothing like a pre-show. Of course, piano's going on at Raging Cajun, Whiskey Dixon at Fast Eddie's on Friday, the McAtee Band down at Shea, Maryland's in Alton, the Kingdom Brothers at Chubby's in Alton. Mm. The Hurricanes will be at Baker's and Hay on Friday night. Big applause from our studio audience. They're our friends. Are you uh, familiar with the Hurricanes? The Hurricanes. What is it? Carla Hurley is yeah. in the band. And so it's oh, it says, Hur- it says Hurricanes. I probably there. misspelled Hur- it. Hurley. I did the logo. Hurricanes. Ah. You know, the computer misspelled it. So, that might so, be what it is. So, <laughs> it auto-corrected so you. So <laughs> Carla Hurley is... is uh, is the leader Drummer. of this mm-hmm. yeah. is this uh, act so oh, all right there you go. i heard the applause i just wanted to know what it was about I was <laughs> trying to figure out what's going on here trying to stay part of the conversation oh, we just break into applause yeah, well i love, I love it when people do that and i wondered <laughs> is this random applause or is this like specific applause let's find out we don't get much applause <laughs> <laughs> someone threw a brick through the window once i don't know if that was, that was good or bad <laughs> I think uh, Kara's practicing the ukulele right now. I thought I heard an instrument just a, a second she ago. She probably is. <laughs> <laughs> She's playing her tip. I was looking up the tempo on, uh, from my secret location. That See? is really interesting. It's I cool. know. I know someone who may have one for sale soon. So <laughs> <laughs> now my next, my next one is I want to get my um, my auto harp restored. Oh. I have an old auto harp that was passed down to me and that's my next one that i'm going to work on that would be so cool nice all right we'll hold you to that and about a year from now we'll be uh, asking about the auto harp (laughs) (laughs) she'll be pro (laughs) Uh, and when you ask about it the rest of us will be like how does he know that (laughs) how does he great (laughs) memory (laughs) the internet's his memory (laughs) Uh, so uh, uh, in addition to the Hurricanes going to Bakers and Hale, <laughs> 7 to 10 p.m. We've got uh, the Graham Band at Locks Brick House. Uh, and then the Q Cats, 6 p.m. at JJ Thermos. I don't know the Q Cats, but, you know, it's a pretty cool name. Uh, that's going on JJ Thermos uh, in Eastgate down in East Alton on Friday evening. West Wind, 8 p.m. until midnight at Martin's Tunes and Eats in Wood River. Yep, flip Former side. Chico's. Flip side at the Moose in Wood River. Colossal Wreck at the Eagles in Wood River. On yeah. Friday. That takes care of the Wood River side of things. Let's move on to Edwardsville. Let's do it. Sort of. Holiday Shores. <laughs> That's Edwardsville School District. So. Right. Yes. <laughs> Customer Appreciation Christmas Party. That's a good party to have. Yeah. Right? With Kickstart. Five o'clock at Wigglers and Holiday Shores in Edwardsville. Nice. How do you say that? Aaron Bode? Aaron Bode. Bode. Aaron Bode. This does not bode well for us if we get it wrong. Right. <laughs> Aaron Bode at the Wild E Theater. That's 7.30 p.m. on Friday. Sure, but, that's not Aaron Bode. I think see, that's Aaron what I, I, I That's why I said it. Is. I was, I was just saying, saying, glad you Bode. have us here. See, I, I yes. was going to say that. I think it's Bode, but. <laughs> when he asked me a question like that, I even he if I don't know the agree? answer, I yes. say it as confidently as possible <laughs> and pretend like it's happening. He would never change someone's name. <laughs> Ever. I can understand the confusion though. So, uh, so, so, what do you call this band that we're interviewing tonight? <laughs> do you call them by their correct name? Because slick the and last... lazies. <laughs> it's the slick and lazies. Oh, okay. He always gets a band name. I don't know. <laughs> They're slick. They're probably not lazy, but I'm sure they're slick. It's thick and daisies. Come on. They're playing uh, Saturday night at Baker's and Hale. Oh, yeah. On the heated patio. Heated patio. And I'm telling you what. The way the weather's been, you might not need it. That's what I was going to say. Bring the global warming on until summer, then we don't want it no more. (laughs) Exactly. (laughs) Loving it right now, though. All right, let's wrap up Friday. Butch Moore and Alan White at the Stagger Inn again. The happy hour from 5 to 8. Mike Sonderegger, 7 to 10 at Global Brew in Edwardsville. Soul Shine Groove, 7 o'clock at the Moose in Edwardsville. Jenny and Dave, 6 o'clock at the Cabin at Judy Creek in Glen Carbon on Friday. Go ahead, pig pen. Oh, where are we at here? Uh, oh, Drunken Reindeer Ball. I like it. It, it is the Drunken Reindeer Ball with 10 String Dreams, 6 to 9 p.m. at Old Herald Brewery in Collinsville. So yeah. that's cool. They're going to get some reindeer drunk and have a ball? Yes, something like that. Yeah. Awesome. 
Double wide duo, 8 o'clock at Hurricanes in Collinsville on Friday. Happy ending, 930 at Patrick's and Grand <laughs> That's a good name. Yeah. Happy ending. Well, they're All playing right. late. You know. I like it. <laughs> Midnight special, 830 to 1230 at Deutsch Village Inn in Pontoon Beach. John Evans at the uh, George's Local Brew on Friday night from 7 to 10. Steve Mellis does his open mic at the Hog Pit on Fridays. And uh, how many ugly sweater Christmas parties are there in the River Bend? <laughs> One on every block. Now, this one's going to be in Chesterfield, so it'll be a uh, Sean and Mike show from six to ten at Wild Pickens. I got my own thing going on. I'm doing the Cosby sweater. It's it's, it's different, but mm. not not a lot of people want to come to it so far. <laughs> <laughs> Also on Friday, Dave Horton, eight o'clock at the Unwind Lounge in Highland. A uh, little known fact: at the uh, Hemingway Zen Garden. Sounds like a place to go. Yeah, it's a little known fact that that uh, Hemingway Zing Garden started back in the 1800s. Oh, wait a minute. I'm sorry. I thought I was Cliff Clavin for a minute. <laughs> that's, an old, that's an old foul in Illinois, that? by the way. And finally, our friend Spilly Nelson. Are and playing one-way traffic. Over in uh, St. Louis on yeah. Friday night at the Broadway Oyster Bar. Mm-hmm. Yeah, $10 one- cover for Spilly and one-way traffic. Yeah, that'd be a good show there. Mm-hmm. So that, that is the, the Friday night and the Riverbend area, and including Cheers. our buddies over at Broadway Oyster Bar there. So, all right. And, and we got one clap out of that, and, and that was for one who clap. was it? Who was that for? I forget. It was for the Hurley Canes or something. Hurley Canes. Yeah. Friday night. <laughs> Friday night. Uh, Bakers and Hale. All right. Yeah. And you guys are going to be playing at Bakers and Hale. Saturday night. On Saturday night. Now, was the last show you played at Bakers and Hale? Do you play anywhere else? Or is that because last time we talked to you, that's what it was you the were lodge playing. last time. <laughs> yeah, we played. the lodge. Uh, that's right, with picking buds, picking daisies and picking buds, <laughs> slick and lazies and picking. I don't know. <laughs> Tripsy gypsies and yeah, the Tripsy gypsies. I don't. Yeah, they're they they they've tripped. Tripsy's good. I I get names wrong often. I'm sorry. I, there's there's part of my brain died one time when I held my <laughs> breath too long, and now I can't remember certain words. I don't know. Gypsy gypsies. Uh, what 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 else we got going on with you girls? Huh? Anything I'm trying else? Trying to think of what we have added since the last time we talked to you guys. Yeah. We have let's been see. I seen a video. I seen a video on the Facebook page for the boxer. Yeah. So, right. Yeah. So, right. Yeah. The boxer. So that was newer. That's a new one. We mm-hmm. also. It's uh, a song about about getting your ear bit off, I believe. <laughs> no. So it's a Mike Tyson song for sure, right? <laughs> No, 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 okay. I'm sorry. We've added some uh, Joni Mitchell. We're doing Big yeah. Yellow Taxi now. That's like one of my favorite mm-hmm. songs of all time. So that's yeah. exciting. She does a great job on the guitar. Well, thanks. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we've been adding a lot. We just added. Um, we just added a couple. Even in the last couple practices, we added three little birds. Mm-hmm. Last practice. Ooh, nice. Um, and what, what else did we add? Oh, uh, Jason well, Isbell. Well, Jason Isbell, if we were vampires, mm-hmm. which he's is in one your of band now. My I wish. Yeah. yeah. That was a cool move, getting mm-hmm. him in the band. Right. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I, right? Well, when when Kara balls. chimed in and, and, and mentioned the three birds, that's a great pick, but I got to, I got to admit, I kind of forgot she was there, and it scared the hell out of me when she first started talking. <laughs> <laughs> like, who is that? <laughs> Disembodied voice. I, yes, I was, I was caught unaware, so... Uh, it, it scared me so much that somebody made a mess in my drawers. I don't know. <laughs> somebody. Uh, well, uh, so there you go. Three Little Birds. That's that's a good one. One of my favorites there. Uh, which Isabel was it that you do? Isabel. Jason Isabel. No, I know Jay. <laughs> I didn't mean that. Which Jason Isabel song? Okay, Coach, you guys been watching? When we were, or if we were vampires. If we yeah. were vampires. Yeah. That's a good one. Yeah, we're that's working a good on one. Some, I would like to add some more to you. I thought you were doing Ronnie Isabel. I <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. The good thing about picking daisies, though, is that we get to do a lot of chick rock songs that, you um, know, there right. are not all that many female vocalists that are right. out there doing stuff. So Kara can really, you know, knock the wheels off of Lady Gaga and uh, Stevie <laughs> Nicks and, you know, right, stuff yeah. like that. Adele. So, uh, Adele, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So if you want to hear some awesome female vocalist tunes from the last you know 
I mean, we do a smattering of everything. You know, as you just heard, it's like yeah. '60s to today. <laughs> oh, and I was the 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 first band I saw Kara in was the one we were talking about, the Tripsy Gypsies, way right. back Tripsy when. Tri- whatever. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Pick tomato, daisies tomato. Is, <laughs> Pick and Daisies is like half of that band. Right. right, so so exactly right. 50% right. Yeah. Exactly of 50% exactly 50% of Gypsy. the band, and we, we, I call them the leftovers, but whatever. Uh, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> here we go. <laughs> it, it's leftovers. like leftover salmon. I don't know. Leftover yeah. band. Uh, but no, uh, when I first the first time I saw Kara sing was with the uh, the Tripsy Gypsies, and and I was blown away. Where it was because uh, the, the first few songs, it, it was one of those like, oh wow, she can sing really good, mm-hmm. and then I can't remember if it was it was something that blew my doors uh I, I keep thinking Bobby Michael McGee, Jackson. I keep does, no. I keep thinking yeah. Michael Jackson. But I'm sure that wasn't it. It was something. It was. Oh, you know what it was? You guys did some Guns and Roses, didn't you? Mm. Did you do Guns and Roses? Oh yeah, Sweet Child. Mm. Sweet Child. Yeah. I was gonna say. I remember it was something where she was really high. Where I was like, Oh wow, look at that. And she was belting it too. There was. There was. Uh, yeah. What? Where was this? Oh, now you're gonna ask hard questions. It was, it was wherever you were playing that night. You should remember. <laughs> <laughs> like that was a long time that ago. Long time. So I really. But she can still sing that song. We should add uh, that to our list. The fact that I remember anything beyond like five <laughs> minutes ago is really like you should give me an attaboy for that. Okay. So, uh, so there you go. Uh, so you girls been adding some songs to the repertoire. Doing any, what about the uh, writing? Doing any 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 writing in the band? Kara does. Kara yeah, does yeah. some writing? Yeah, Kara yeah. writes songs. and um, <laughs> Bean is over here shaking her head no. no. <laughs> just the support system. People try to, yeah, get me to sing, get me to write. I'm just like, no, no. I am just your rhythm guitarist. That she is, is good That is that. my aspiration. That's all I want to do. <laughs> I, I, I have it. nothing to say yeah. here. Right? I love pure honesty in a oh. band member. <laughs> yeah. I'm just saying there's no, you know, going she right to it. Drawing. We're just doing this. This is yeah. how it goes. Right? I dig it. So so Kara does some writing. Carrie, you've been uh, you've been busting out any songs with this band, uh, working this band, and working these girls up to uh, the picking daisies up to an album, or what? <laughs> oh my gosh! Well, I mean, that would honestly that would be the dream if, we, if I could get myself together enough. I would say that you know I am. I was listening to someone talk about their writing style, and I would say I am a couple songs a season type of person. I haven't written anything in a while. I, I have some older stuff that I that I could probably dust off. Um, but I, you know, there's a lot, I'm getting older and there's a lot in this brain that just is not, um, leaving room for some of that creativity. Um, I'd love to do, do more though, for sure. It sounds like you need to quit your job. You should you need to get up, in the morning and just start writing songs, you know. The, the rest, everything else will figure itself out. It'll be fine. It'll now, be come fine. on, Pigpen. You know, sure. that's, that's why she came home, right? She was doing that already down in Nashville. And she's like, you know what? I'm going to go hang out with friends and just have a good time doing this. Because that's way better than all that work you're trying to put it up to. Uh, uh, well, Everyone's I'm, smiling. No one's under mm-hmm. pressure. They're just like, hey, we're just playing at Baker's and Hale eating this great food. And exactly. The thing is, we don't even go out and look for gigs. When somebody asks us to play, we're like, absolutely. Yes. We'll be there. But we're not like it's knocking not down easy. anybody's right. door trying to get booked. That, we love it, though. Yeah, we have a good yeah. time. and That's what matters. That, yeah. that is the best situation to be in, too, when you don't mind playing when someone asks you to. But you're... Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I mean, when you really just like getting together and making music, it doesn't matter if it's just your band mm-hmm. and the same couple friends that come over on the weekend, or so or if there's 20 people at a bar, or if there's 200 at a little theater. Really, it's just about having fun yes. and having a good time. So as long as you're doing that, you're doing it right. Mm-hmm. And, and it's a lot less work to stay home and do it than it is to pack all the gear up and go out. But it is fun to to, to you know to go out and and try and share with people and see how many people can tolerate like will they stay for three songs i bet if i <laughs> sing three songs in a row they leave <laughs> you know? I, i'm always i'm always betting with myself how many songs people can possibly tolerate <laughs> <You know? laughs> well and i think that's why we that's why we've been doing it for so long together because it is exactly yeah. that situation we love to play together it is not 
no pressure. Mm-mm. And, you know, we want to do a good job. We don't want them to leave after the first song, but we also <laughs> don't take ourselves extraordinarily seriously either. So um, we just have fun. I, I was referring to people leaving after me singing three songs, not you. <laughs> I'd stay all, I would stay all night and listen to you. I could barely take myself like singing in the shower, but I was singing in the shower <laughs> earlier, but then, the, you know, the water wasn't on or anything. I was just staying, <laughs> hanging out there singing. <laughs> <laughs> oh man so yeah uh that the that's a great way to be where you're not taking this serious that's what a band is supposed to be about a group of people just getting together making music for the sake of of doing it and having a good time i i i like it i like to make people laugh smile dance anything have a good time and uh, a band is a, a great way to do that, to encourage people mm-hmm. to do that. Oh, man, when people start dancing when you're playing, it's, it's like it's the, the best, best feeling yeah. ever. Yeah. Yes. I, I, if it would rain and they would all take their clothes off, is the only way to make it better. I, don't, you know, I, I mean, it's different for other people, different for different people, but for me. Oh, uh, yeah. So, so Bakers and Hale, I'm hoping it rains. No, that, that's just me. That's just me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh man so there you go you girls what time's the uh the show starting out there seven seven, seven to ten seven to ten mm-hmm. p.m or a little later we might yeah. play a little bit later D- depends if you're all there in the front row screaming yeah. encore we'll keep playing <laughs> <laughs> if people like, are dancing out. we are going to keep playing until they tell us to go home exactly all right well they're going to 11 now and we know that's happening Right, right. So, <laughs> might as well prepare for it. Uh, better learn a few more songs. <laughs> I, uh, oh, by the way, we did just book another gig too for nice. uh, the Lovejoy on Saturday, January 29th. So Let's mark see. your calendar for that there too, please. Cozy Lodge. Russ was listening and he thought, oh, I better call them right now and book them. They're going to be so popular <laughs> after this show. Yeah. <laughs> well, this happened in our brainstorm session the other night. Mm-hmm. Uh, Oh, I got a brainstorm. I'm still a little soggy. <laughs> I, I need a towel. I need a brain towel. Hey, uh, let, let's run through our Saturday. Take care of the rest of this business so we can, you know, uh, have, have a few more minutes with these ladies. Okay, then. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, geez. Now I got to figure out what we're doing. Hey, we got Sacred Sounds Full Moon Holiday Sound Bath. That's going on 7 to 830 at the Jacoby Art Center at Saturday, December 18th. And we got Pie Saw Canyon, 8 p.m. at Shea Maryland down in Alton. Another Ugly Sweater uh, with Kapow at the third shoot in Alton. That's happening 9 p.m. on Saturday. Ed Belling at the Lodge at Lovejoy on Saturday. Naked Soul and Whiskey Dicks and doing the uh, Fast Eddies. Naked Soul at 2, Whiskey, 7.30. Tanglefoot, 6 o'clock at Chubby's in Alton. Pianos at Raging Cajun, starting around 9. And there's this band picking daisies, man. They're playing at Baker's and Hale on Saturday. Have you heard? I've not heard of them yet. <laughs> you have? Where are they from? Tell me more. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so so what I want to tell you is these are some good-looking gals, and they know how to pick, and they know how to play. They're going to sing and dance their hearts out. They might even tell jokes. No, I'm not making it. I'm, 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 they're going to tell jokes in between. And I, I, I'm sorry. It's going to be a bless you. No, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm totally making things up here. But the Pick and Daisies will be there. They are beautiful girls that are going to be playing, and they will play their hearts out for you. I've seen them play, so I know. The main thing is they're going to be having a good time. And any time you see a band having a good time, you automatically start having a good time because you feel like you're left out. There is no doubt. It is hard to watch a band smiling and enjoying making music together and not start smiling. Even if you're not really, even if they're not hitting you in your creamy center spider, you know, whatever. (laughs) You know, if they're playing some music that you're not super hip to, if they're just having a good time doing it, man, it makes me smile. Nothing left to do but smile, smile, smile. (laughs) <laughs> All right, what else has got going on other than the picking daisies at 7? I mean, I know that's where everyone's going, but there's also <laughs> Justin Jankler and the Riverside Renegades. This is going to be a cowboy Christmas thing, I'm pretty sure, just by the name. I'm not sure. Uh, 7 to 11 at the Clifton Terrence in Christmas Party in Godfrey. Right. Justin Jangler and the Riverside Renegades. There you go. I think it's Jagler. I, okay, maybe there's no end in there. There you go. Just I'll get glasses guy, one of these days, but just not in case today. That guy's got a brick and he's heading this <laughs> way, you know. <laughs> I, I was picturing a very jangly cowboy walking around. I'd, you know, some spurs jangling. I don't know. 
Ah, it's probably not a cowboy Christmas after all. I'm sorry, kids. Also uh, on Saturday, Cherry Bomb at the uh, shortstop in East Alton. Tripwire out of Doc. Cherry Dock. Bomb. Yeah. Tripwire out of Doc Holidays at 9 o'clock in Cottage Hills. Sit down and get down at uh, Martin's <laughs> Tunes and Eats in Wood River at 8 o'clock. DJ Apple Beats at the Franchise at 10. <laughs> Doubleheader at uh, the Pump House in Wood River at 4 o'clock. Tim Levine. And then bullseye womp rats, nine o'clock. <laughs> womp rats, that's, right. that's a good. I could shoot a womp rat for four hundred meters. <laughs> Uh, that's for a Star Wars joke for all you Star Wars geeks. Uh, we got the Trag Band, 7 p.m. at the Moose in Wood River. Isaiah Christian, 7 to 10 p.m. at George's Local Brew in Jerseyville. Then Scott Logan and Leslie Craig, 3 to 7 p.m. at the Grafton Winery. Nothing going on at the Hog Pit, sorry. Uh, Jack Possibly. Tweston and his... Nothing advertised. Well, no, nothing advertised. Right. But uh, Jack Tweston and the Skylark Brothers, 7 p.m. at the Corner Tavern in Edwardsville. And then mm-hmm. Junior Brown at Hold the Wildy. Wait. I, I thought I updated this, but apparently it didn't. Here's the big news about Junior Brown. Yeah. 8 o'clock at the Wildy Theater. It's the opening act. That's you, the opening act? No, no, no. Oh. The opening <laughs> act is, is uh, we're going to love them. Matter of fact, I think we already gave him a shout out. Matt Tall. Oh, hey, hey. Awesome. Thanks, Matt. There you right. go. Yeah. Bobby Atley is going to be there. <laughs> Joe Cox is going to be there. No oh. Matt Van Boris. Oh. So you it's like what? it's one of those other Matt Tall lineups. Matt V's kind of the eye candy of that group, anyway. You know. <laughs> and I swore I updated that right before I left, and and now I feel wow. bad. I left well, out the fourth person who was playing. So. There you go. So so the bulk of the Stubblefield band, and, and uh, they're opening for Junior Brown at right. the Wild East. So there you go, man. That sounds like a heck of a show to see. I would personally show up in Edwardsville early, like about four o'clock, and hang out in some of the restaurants around there, and you might meet yeah. Junior Brown. Yeah. Mike Do you know who Junior Brown is, guys? Not familiar. No? He plays this thing called a get steel. Speaking of an instrument you may never have heard of. <laughs> it's a guitar with a steel guitar. Instead of a double neck guitar, the steel guitar is the second guitar. Cool. And he plays it at the same time, both of That's them. Cool. Yeah, it's it's he's uh, an insane thing to watch go down. There, old so. timey country, <clears throat> old timey. Yeah, yeah. Uh, then we uh, also in Edwardsville. This I love this band named Pussycat and the Swallowtails. Nine p.m. at the back bar right in there Edwardsville. By the Wild Lady, yeah. So <laughs> it's a good band name. Uh, also, the Strangers duo six to nine at Big Daddy's in Edwardsville. Then Dave Horton two to six p.m. at the Foundry Public House in Edwardsville. A lot going on up in Eville. Uh, what else we got? Sixth anniversary celebration with the Rocky Mountain Oysters. <laughs> 6 p.m. at the cabin at Ju- Judy Creek. True. True that is. Hey, well, we, there's a lot of action here in, yeah, the, in the studio. Yeah. I, I, Ooh, I, cat fight. I, I, I don't know what's going on. I'm, they look like two kittens I, battling. I, 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 am, <laughs> I am very much afeared but slightly aroused. You'll see it on the video as they slap their paws together. Oh, don't oh say it like God. that. Now I'm more right now. Kara's like, I can't wait to see the video. <laughs> uh, I'm a little afraid. Innocent. Oh, We're always gosh. innocent. Uh, so, uh, so there, I, 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 I lost track. Oh, worth the fight. That, that's where we're at. Yeah. Worth the fight. 9.30 at Patrick's in Granite City. Midnight special. 8.30 to midnight or 12.30 at Deutz Village Inn in Pontoon Beach. Then we got Flipside 9 p.m. at the Corner Keg in High. And all this is Saturday night, by yeah. the way. Uh, Lanny and Julie at the camp station in Staunton, and then Money Shot at Roosters in Staunton. Right. Keep going. Okay. Good. Well, I was. T- <gasps> good, 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 we good boy. About, we good. talked about where the rum was on yeah. Friday night. We it's with the good it. boys. Right. Uh, we got Good Boy, Where's the Rum, 86 Red and Dead Cafe, all 8 p.m. at. 2722 Washington Avenue. I don't know what that is. I guess that's an, an address. address. 2722 yeah. Washington Avenue. It's not a house. It's just someone's, you know, I, I don't know what it is. It's a flat. I don't know what it is. Uh, but just show up at that address and you can you can check out those <laughs> bands, I guess. Yeah. Uh, Good Boy, Where's the Rum, 86 Red Dead Cafe, 2722 Washington Avenue. And then Mike Judy's got two shows going that, on. That, that's the old uh, creepy crawl, I bet. No, I don't know. Possible. Well, I don't know. Uh, Mike Judy, though, uh, two shows on Saturday he's night. He's killing it like right. always. Yeah, Laura Jane Grace at 9 o'clock at Off-Broadway in St. Louis. 27 50 for that ticket. 
And then uh, Mike Judy presents Morgan James, 9 o'clock at the Old Rock House in St. Louis. Mm, He's got Off-Broadway and the Old Rock House on Saturday. Good for Mike Judy. He's killing it, man. Out of Bethalto. And Eagles. (laughs) No, I'm just (laughs) talking about Better than the Tigers and Edward Nye. I don't know course, what I'm talking about. Everyone will be at Bankers uh, and Hale on Saturday. Absolutely. Uh, oh, my gosh. <laughs> I just saw what's happening on Sunday. Sorry. <laughs> I just write what I see, baby. <laughs> okay. That's, that's I, Sunday, we, by the we, way. We can't stop the flow because now that I've seen it, i got to read this. Gay Meat Bingo Benefit. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's all I read, and I got to read more now. Uh, they, they're in Sunday, December 19th, the Gay Meat Bingo Benefit. Alton Pride hosted by uh, Dieta Pepsi. Benefit for Alton oh, Pride, yeah. There you go. Benefit uh, for Alton Pride uh, by Dieta Pepsi and Shelby Reetback or something. I'm not Come sure. Come on, you don't get I, it? The, the, good, the big part of this is Shelby the, right back. She'll be right back. I, I, da, 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 I am just not. Dieta Pepsi and she'll be right back. I, right. Yeah. I figured I, after Dieta Pepsi, I, you'd be in that mode. I, all I can think about is the gay meat bingo. That is just, I'm, I'm interested in how this goes down. You, uh, you yeah. win meat when you play bingo. I, 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 I With had a other couple things of drag. in mind. <laughs> okay. With a couple of drag queens hosting, right? I, that's fine. I, yeah. This sounds like a good time, but yeah. I... I I, one o'clock at the Lovejoy. I don't know that you've answered all my questions, but it's like that's a all right. once a month thing. Now. I <laughs> seen somebody win a big hunk of meat last time. It's on. I the bet they did win a big hunk of meat. That now, now we're getting down to what I was talking about. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. Well, you oh. might be, but they're serious. <sighs> I mean, you know how the price of meat these days. No, oh, I know twenty <laughs> bucks the hard way. <laughs> Bean, what'd you get us into? <laughs> Kara hung up 20 minutes ago. Are you kidding me? Oh, oh I'm God. just sitting back enjoying the ride. Oh, guys. that that is that is the that's what I'm going to do if I win the gay meat bank. <laughs> Just sit back and enjoy the ride. Oh my gosh! Hey, so I, I would say twenty-five suggest, bucks to enter. By the listen, way, listen, and that's happening at the Lovejoy uh, Lodge, the Lodge at Lovejoy, yeah. twenty-five dollars. So get down there and and good check cause. that. Oh, it is, yeah. man. Check that out. It sounds like a lot of fun, and and who knows what you're gonna win until you win it. Right? Probably me. Right. I, Again, I'm slightly a fear and slightly aroused. Uh, all right, let's, let's. you got me going on Sunday now. The Brick House Blues oh, Band, God. three to seven at Chubby's and all. Take a break, big man. You need to relax. I'm, try- I'm trying to. I'm trying to get my breath here, but it's Naked not easy. Soul, one to five, and Hollywood five, six to ten at uh, Fast Eddie's on Sunday. Open mic with the Shell Shack Band down at Martin's Tunes, and he's a great time down there uh, on Sunday afternoons from three to seven. Kurt Copeland doing his open mic up at uh, Uncle Al's in Jerseyville on Sunday from 4 to 7. The Trag Band at the uh, Grafton Winery from 2 to 6. The uh, ever-popular open mic with Butch Moore, 6 to 10 at the Stagger Inn again in Edwardsville every Sunday night. And they're back to doing them on Wednesday nights. And the final performance of the Vault Pig Pen. Uh-oh. They're calling it a day. That's going to be Sunday from 4 to now, 7. Isn't that uh, a... Mike Pagano. Yeah, you got oh, it. Man. Michael Mayer. He's the one. Uh, yeah. Well, let me let me. He's a in. heck of a. Uh, so Dave, Dave's gonna join a uh, band called Karma Chameleon, oh, which right. is a, mm-hmm. Karma 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 which is, Karma Karma yeah, Karma Chameleon. It's, yeah. it's a tribute. It's a tribute I, band. I like it too. You can imagine who they tribute. Uh, they should be playing the, at the gay meat club, bingo. Right? Yeah. <laughs> and then Randy Belling. He's uh, joining a band called Henry the Eighth, which is a tribute band to Henry the Eighth. No, to Herman the Hermit. Right, Henry the Eighth, I am my right. Sure. Oh, so wow. there you go. And what, that, what's Mike Pagano going to do? He can't well, just be he the said mayor. He's gonna, he said he's going to just show up at his friend's gigs and ask if he can sit in. Well, yeah. bug him until he. Uh, yeah, that's what he said. All I'm saying is, if you're if you're the mayor, like he's, that's going to get boring. You're going to want to do more than just be the mayor. You know. Right. Well, he's been so. busy over there at that Amazon Center. Yeah, well, he, you, they've got, you know, his little uh, his little town of Pontoon Beach that he's the mayor of has some good things going on down there, like Mastermind Vodka. Only ultra-premium vodka made in the United States right down the road from us, so Mm-mm. kudos to them. Yeah, so get out and see the vault on Sunday from 4 to 7. And drink Say some Mastermind. to them. You may never <laughs> see them again together.
You never know. Oh, I'm going to get them back together. I'm right. going to start working on it before that. they break up. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> what else do we have going on the final Dueling show of the vault? pianos on Sunday. Mike Sonder. And Cameron Brown, 1 o'clock at the Wildy Theater in Edwardsville. Jared Lutz at uh, Mike Shannon's in Edwardsville from 4 to 7. All right. Lanny and Julie and Scott Marlin, 3 to 6 at the cabin at Judy Creek and Glen Carbon on Sunday. Nice Dave Chateau. Horton. Yeah, Dave Horton at Hudats and Collins Hudats. Horton, 2 to 6. Scott and Michelle, 2 to 6 at uh, Deutz Village Inn and then karaoke, drunken karaoke. That's the only way to do it. Deutz. That is the only way to do on it. Sunday <laughs> nights. One more. Heartbreak Line, 9 o'clock at Alenjo's and Pocahontas. It's Larry Rose. Poca what? You know. Pocahontas, okay. You know. I heard it. Just sometimes my brain hears what it wants to hear. All right. <laughs> Never noticed. And we can't forget <laughs> Gay Meat Bingo. Gay, that That is uh, going on at the Lodge uh, at Lovejoy. So there you go. I'd say there's that, a wide really variety of eye. things to do in our area. <laughs> What's that? Do we Maybe entertain them or what, Sarah? Oh, man, I love it. Here you rattle all those off. I have a memory about every one of those bands and every one of those venues and stuff like that. Yeah. Just, yeah. Okay. We got a really rich musical area. A lot of cool people, a lot yeah. of great places to see music. Yeah, so what were you saying? I couldn't hear you when they were to... talking. <laughs> no, it's too late now. <laughs> Just we're leaning toward Bakers and Hale, though, in this episode of River Bend Talent. For some reason, mm. we think you should go see Pickin' Daisies, right? Mm. I think you Saturday. should pick some daisies on the way to see some Pickin' Daisies. Make a lot of noise. Make them play till 11 or later. Stay up so late, you, the next day you wish you were pushing up daisies. How about a standing O, folks? Let's see. I'll it. give it a no. <laughs> Here's my standing O face. <laughs> You must see, must see video, guys. You're gonna just tag it. Must see, right? That's how you get views on YouTube. Why do the, all those dolls at the store down on Broadway look so surprised? They all, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I do have uh, one more question for the Pick and Days. This is a tough question. Is this a real question? This is a real question. <sighs> okay, I'll this. check out. So I know you guys like to prepare for your gigs, but I'm wondering. What is it about sitting in a tractor scoop that helps you prepare <laughs> for a gig? Because the mm. caption said preparing for a gig, but you guys were hanging out in a tractor. And it oh. looked like possibly just partying in a park somewhere. It didn't look like a lot of playing Close. was going on. Close. That was Kara's birthday. Her family oh. has this awesome place down in the Ozarks, and we all drove down there and had a weekend of it. And, yes, they were giving out rides in the bucket of the tractor, I and you. I forced Jen to do it with me. <laughs> I'm so thankful. <laughs> so fun. that gets you psyched up to play a show? I guess. They, oh yeah, totally. for sure. Yeah, I've absolutely. never heard that. Mm-hmm. It's the first band I've ever heard that does that We've before a gig. We've got our different methods, right. you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, you know what Sid Barrett would do before a gig? Well, we better not get into it. <laughs> About 300 micro doses. No, I don't know. I, I don't know. Just guessing that that would be that would be on the shy side. He's probably did more than that. But anyway, Gary uh, Glitter. We don't want to know what he did. I don't know. <laughs> There's some people I have, don't care to know. Gary Glitter. G.G. Allen. Don't care how he warms up. Just uninterested. So. <laughs> Uh, oh my gosh well hey let's uh let's say everyone get out to bakers and hail you can check out the pick and daisies check out the new songs they've mm-hmm. been working up and uh support them support the local uh, business of, of uh bakers and hail which is a farm to table operation mm-hmm. last time i was out there uh, there were some gals sitting at the bar it was crowded and they said hey you can have our seats we got a table coming and then we started talking and she's like Somehow Benel came up, and I brought up the Coliseum. She goes, oh, all this stuff is, is grown right across the street at my grandparents' farm. I'm like, oh, that's pretty cool. So the food you're eating comes from old Al Capone properties. Just remember mm. that. Just remember <laughs> that. So <laughs> right? Yeah. I, also remember uh, January 29th, you can check out the Pickin' Daisies at the Lodge you. at Lovejoy, right? Yes. So uh, this Saturday, and then you'll Who's be ready for them again by the 29th, yeah. Who knows what they're going to do to prepare for that show? 
Oh, they're they're, they're, they're gonna, serious here. They're going to run people over with a tractor. They're going to start. <laughs> <laughs> they're getting heavy with that one. They're they're, they're going to have a heavy edge on. I don't know. Uh, so the best if, place to find out more is Facebook, I guess. That's, yes. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Picking Daisy's yeah. band. Picking Daisy's band on Facebook. Mm-hmm. They can find out any gigs coming up. You got any videos out there they can check out anywhere? Yeah, is they on Facebook a few. also. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We posted one of uh, Rihanna not too long ago. That was pretty good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. And are those available on Facebook? Is that how people find them? There you go. So just check out the Pickin' Daisies Band on Facebook. You can keep up with where they're playing, keep up with uh, what they're going on. And uh, we got to say thanks to Halpin' Music. Yes. For the sponsorship, mm-hmm. oh, over six years of sponsoring us now. They've wow. been they've been doing it a long Yay. time. Yay. Yeah. Yeah. They, if they ever actually listen, it's all going to be over. So <laughs> let's, just, let's just hope they still haven't listened in. That's why I got nervous when I realized they were listening last week. I'm like, well, it's almost over now. Don't be long. I think yeah. I buttered They're up John here. Hand. You buttered yeah. him up, right? Oh, oh, right? I I buttered him up and I, I beat him with a stick. It's oh. a, a nightclub gig that we do together. I, I wrap him in saran wrap and i lather him in butter and i beat him with a stick while he yodels <laughs> poor john hand we don't do that he john hand does a lot of great stuff and would never be on stage with me because he's way smarter than that <laughs> but, i don't think matt van Voorst would be on stage with you either though would he not anywhere where people know him for maybe sure maybe just doing an insurance claim <laughs> <laughs> hi matt <laughs> Uh, he he used to that. let me hang out in his basement. Then he locked me out one day, changed the, <laughs> changed the key, and it's like, man, I guess I drank too much of his booze. I don't know. And if Halpin's <laughs> been here six years, he's been about five and a half. I, I would say, say Matt, right Matt's been him. with us, right? Yeah, not much, not much less than that. So uh, big again. And we know he listens. So <laughs> I, I, you know. I don't know why he keeps sponsoring us. <laughs> I, I think because me and his wife are old childhood friends, and she just talks him into it. So, yeah, his wife He's Julie's my like, old childhood friend since fifth grade. Who's that? Who's Matt? Matt? Oh, I thought you meant Julie's wife. I'm no. like, really? I, I, yes. Yeah, I, uh, I. Now you know why we've been trying to get you on. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Keep getting Matt's friends on. He'll there you go. Yeah. He's like, oh, it's another one of my friends. I guess I'll pay for another week. <laughs> so, Matt, uh, update that list of friends you've got on Facebook so we can <laughs> we know who to get next. Now, big thanks to Matt Van Voris of Macias Insurance. Go buy a nice instrument from Halp and call Matt. Get it insured, and, and we will get to come back and do this next week. Yep. What this is, I don't know. I have <laughs> no clue. <laughs> but it is where we introduce you to some local uh, uh, talented folks like the Pickin' Daisies we introduce you to tonight we tell you about what's happening around the uh, area and at the very end of every show we encourage you to please get out and support local music and art